Goodbye, opponent. Kill the resplendent and kill them for max BM. Let's freaking go. What's up, Jamers? It's the one Jame, and today we are playing Esper Zer, and we can't play with Meatuck Massacre. Why, you ask? Because it's banned from the standard. That's one of the best cards in this deck because it's also an enchantment for Zer. If you don't know what Zer does, let's read it together. Zer is a three mana, one four creature. It's a human wizard. It has flying. It makes enchantment creatures you control have death touch, lifelink, and hexproof. You can pay one and a white, and to have target non aura, enchantment you control become a creature in addition to its other types and has base power and base toughness, each equal to its mana value. So, the creatures that we'll already be playing to where we don't actually have to use this ability on is Spirited Companion. So in this deck, Spirited Companion is not only a 1-1 dog, which is already good that draws a card, it also has lifelink, death touch, and hexproof. Let's freaking go, Spirited Companion. We also have Leyline Binding, which is probably one of the most powerful cards in this deck. It's usually one mana, so that's why I have it in the one mana slot. But we're going to be killing our opponents with a 6-6 Leyline Binding that also has lifelink, death touch, and hexproof. Uh, your, our opponents are going to be crying against this deck. We also have Cut Down, Destroy Evil, Make Disappear, and Infernal Grasp as some of our interaction. We have Shadow Prophecy because we have some domain synergies because we're playing Leyline Binding in order to draw additional cards. Kaido draws additional cards. Wedding Announcement's an enchantment that we can animate with Zer. that's also a very good card. Touch the Spirit Realm is not only an enchantment that we can animate with Zer, but we can also use it, its channel ability, to save Zer from removal. And we can also cast it back out of our graveyard with Sarah Paragon, so it's really good interaction for protecting Sarah Paragon and Xur while also being able to cast it back out of the graveyard. And it's also an enchantment for Xur, which is really why I really like it. Two Wandering Emperor because it's a really good card. Why not? Uh, Drag to the bottom because I'm. we have a little bit of a, you know, I, I guess post-trauma from, you know, Meat Hook Master being banned. So we have to find the next available card. And Drag to the bottom in this domain strategy is going to be very good for us. And also we have Archangel of Wrath. Because we're playing domain cards, we're playing red mana also. We have the ability to kick Archangel of Wrath for both. And it's a very, very good anti-aggro tool. Anyways, here's our mana base. It's completely perfect, so don't change it. One planes, one island behind my face, one swamp, and all the rest of these triomes and things like that. Don't change it. It's literally perfect. Uh, don't just, just, uh, just trust me. Don't change the mana base. Anyways, like the video if you want to help this video reach to more people. Subscribe if you're new here. Our next goal is 3,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of the year 2022. So I appreciate subbing to the channel. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Anyways, let's get into the matches and it all starts right now. Wow. Duress game one in best of one. That's sad. I would like a wedding announcement. Uh, they probably have a counter spell, right? Uh... How are we supposed to play around their counter spell? Make them use it? Sure. Make them use it so we can revolve, resolve our Sarah Paragon. Oh. That's not a counter spell. They could have spell pierce, I guess? I know the Shadow Prophecy is an instant. I would use it on their turn. What The, the cool part about domain in this deck is that we always almost always have domain for three so it makes our sweeper it makes our sweeper always do x equals four which means it's almost always just languish and languish is really freaking good oh wow they're playing the same deck You know what, I probably should have not played the land first. Imagine them having Duress and Spell Pierce in best of one. I mean, they already played Duress, so at this point I'm not I'm not going to be surprised if they play Spell Pierce also. There's no 
Wedding announcement. Alright, I'll play it. If it gets counter, we can bring it back with Sarah Paragon later. Well, they don't have Leyline Binding, or else they would have used it there. Radadabric, oh my. What is their deck? Ward 2? So I have to waste my entire turn to do this? Could be Joda? Companion. They probably, they probably have another Ratadabric in their hand, right? Because why would they cast this one into, into an Infernal Grass that they already know I have if they didn't have another one? And I'm kind of forced to kill this, right? I'm not killing it now because they could have a second Ratadabric. Oh my. Or Ratadrabic, I think I should call it. <coughs> Liaza. Well, that's not good. At all. I almost want to kill this instead of killing this, but they're going to bring this back. As a 2 2. Wait. But then we can drag to the bottom. It. Drag his language? Oh, I'm aware. Double Archangel of Wrath? I already played this island for turn, didn't I? Goodbye. Oh, I forgot about Lisa's ability to bring Radadabric. Right? Doesn't it do that? Yep. So those two together are freaking good. Really good. At least they get to they have to cast this again, so I can just kill it this time. Ward two. I mean this Kaido's looking real strong. Florian. Whoa. Do they play a land drop? They haven't played a land yet. I can kill Florian with Sarah Paragon, but I don't have red mana yet, so Jetmir's Garden is our red mana, so I will have to not do that next turn. I can I can I can uh, play Rafine's Tower for my graveyard with art with uh, Sarah Paragon, but I don't think I want to do that. 
I would really like to know where my copies of Leyline Binding are. I'm 20 cards in my deck and I have not seen one. March my wedding festivity, exiling Radadab Radadrabic. Whoa. Ah, Zer. We love to see you, Zer. Discard. Shattered Sanctum. Sarah Paragon, Shattered Sanctum, Zer, win the game. Let's go. What is up with people having duress in their deck? This is not the first time. In like four matches. Duress is probably the best card in the standard. <laughs> I'm sorry about laughing, but that's just so wrong. <laughs> like everyone with duress is going to play against green, red, uh, green, red aggro and mono red and just wish their life was over. Just kidding. No one should wish their life was over, but their their metaphorical magic the gathering life and quit the game. Top right X. Duress, look at their hand, nothing to duress. Sick. This is be so good when we touch the spirit realm, our companion, when they go to kill it. Can I draw blue mana, please? Doing this to play around the counter spell. Oh, here, look, blue mana. I didn't have to. Well, I mean, I guess if they had a counter spell, we would have been upset if we didn't play the land and actually was going to draw the blue, the blue mana here. Okay, thanks for the follow. Consider. Still didn't draw land. No counter spell. Draw a card. Make this appear as a good one. Infernal Grasp, a Spirited Companion. Opponents have been scared of dogs today. Shieldred. It would be a shame if something happened to it. Okay. Please cast a sweeper so I can make this appear. 
children. I guess I make disappear this? I mean, I don't really want to. Because I have, like, Infernal Grasp and a lot of other ways. But I guess I should make this beer this because I'm getting to the point where I probably can't later on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to minus this actually because it's game. Lear casts back, uh, cut down and duress and stuff. Sure. So we're going to cut down my 2 2 ninja. Now they die from Archangel, right? What's my Discord? Type an exclamation point Discord in the chat. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. Cast cut down on turn two, and then companion. Okay, they're playing mono blue, and they have and they have a march. They have a march or a consider. Okay. I don't really want to cast Spirited Companion right now because it opens the door for them to play Make Disappear and I don't want to give them that option. Oh cool, I can cut this down. I didn't think I'd be able to cut down in this match because a lot of them don't play Delver and just play Talarian Terror and the and the Hottie Jin, and you can't usually cut down any of those cards. We're thinking about slip out the back or something. Okay. That's just Spirit Realm's kind of nice. Oh, cool. Now I can Leyline Binding for what? One? I'll cast this now because I can use this at instant speed, number one, and number two if they counter this. Um, if they counter it, that means I can bring it back with Sarah Paragon later. I'm going to do this now because 
I don't want them to draw a card they need off the top. Now, if they have something to stop Emperor here, dang it. That's the reason. Ugh, disgusting. All right, that could, that could work. Because it means that they can counter this, but I also have Emperor. I can let the reveal trigger resolve, that's true. Little bit too many lands here. They probably have a hard counter spell. Or like syncopate. Counter unless I pay four. No? Wow. They haven't used many counter spells yet, and they don't have one. I guess they have a bounce spell, but don't want to bounce the companion. That makes sense. Oh, wow, that's a good card. I'm just gonna do it now. Perfect. That makes this appear looking super lonely. What if I use Leyland Binding now on nothing and then cast Zer? That only works if we draw exactly Zer for turn. Please don't draw Zer. All right, good. Um, let's actually increase this because they only have bounce spells really, and I kind of want them to bounce the companion. We can Archangel of Wrath for X equals one, and then leave up Binding plus kick the Archangel, but that's like not really that good. That's what we want to kill. We'll do this and see if it doesn't get hard countered. Making them use their mana on their turn is pretty good. Oh my god, what? Oh, whoa. They don't even have a protection spell. No counter spell, no protection spell. Their hand's probably full of make disappears. Victorious. A restoration of Igon Joe, huh? <laughs> so, you like that card now or what? I love being on the draw. It completes me. Oh, I should have played the land after I drew the card. Oh, that's fine. Bearded Companion, staple standard card. Mine's better because it's foil.
Do I like mysteriously have like 18 lands in this deck? Give me a land, please. Thank you. Just be thankful Blue White Delver hasn't hit arenas yet. Oh, geez. Lands are a suggestion in this deck. Yeah, they're not a necessity. It's just like maybe you might want them at some point. Maybe, kind of, hopefully. Not really, though. Holy moly. Get in there, Zer. Get in there, Leyline Binding. Alright, here's where they kill the Xur. Infernal Grass coming straight for me. Or that. Ow. Maybe I should have like played wedding announcement and waited for it to become a plus one plus one first before I cast zero so I can't get cut down. Maybe that was the play. I'm gonna block here because if this takes four and goes to one and even if I attack and plus it, it still dies to overseer. And I don't want that to be a thing that they, the opponent does. Give me an untap white source, please, opponent. I mean, please, deck. Ow. White, white, this, this, wrath, kicker, kicker, bye, bye. This nitty doobie thinks to follow. That's fine. Wrath did its job. Informant? What in the world? I mean, all things considered, underdogs go to discard. Goodbye. Draw. 
discarding this, I guess. I want to kind of bait my opponent into using underdog to kill Kaido, and then we're going to exile it. Actually, I kind of just want to cut it down. We're going to destroy evil again? Nope. Ooh, Shadow Prophecy. Sure. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Do I want Emperor here? Probably. All right, what they got now? What they got? Sure. Wandering Emperor, go! Goodbye. All right, we got we got the goods here. We got the goods. Jadar, sure. All right, we plus this. We attack unblocked. We draw a card with Kaido. Drag to the bottom. Not sure if I want that or not. Kinda just wanna go wedding announcement. And then use whichever one I wanna use later. I get, I get a blocker here. I can touch exile this. Or I can just like binding something. All right, I don't really care about this, right? Let's just touch the spirit realm channel on this. Exile it forever. Block this. Emperor, ow. They plus on Jadar. We infernal grasp in response. Let me show you. All the outs, all the stops, pulling the punches. Then we get to kill Wandering Emperor. Unless they have removal.
Soul transfer my Kaido, how dare. I realize the opponent's at nine. It's fine, though. We get to draw two cards. Why would you win the game when you can just draw cards, chat? See, look, look at us. Look at us with all the stops. <laughs> Besides that one. All the ley lines. That's a temporary lockdown. Destroy evil, that one. Not their deck. Destroy evil their deck. Companion. How about we drag to the bottom? Because, like, I don't really find another real reason to use that. Companion, draw an untap land. Oh. Yo, sick make disappear on turn like 18 of the game. Cut down. Plus on this. So if they have another Wandering Emperor, it can't like really affect us that much. Cool, pass. Cruelty of Gix. Well, you know how much of a yikes this is? Probably a- wait. No, it's a yikes. What creatures do we have? I have a Xur, I have a Companion, I have a, an Archangel of Wrath. Search for a card. That's fine, whatever card they search for. You know, it can't be me, Duck Massacre. <laughs> but it can also just get make disappeared. All right, Cruelty of Gix, search the library for a card that's not, that's not, uh, you know, a card that removes my board. You know what I love, actually? I love not actually having to play around, make this, play around like me, Duck Massacre. It makes the game so much easier to play. Oh, do I play this card? No, I can't because they always have Meat Duck Massacre in their deck if their deck's playing black. So I have to make this as toughness this because, you know, if they have a land drop and Meat Duck Massacre, then I, do, then I my creatures die if I don't have it at this toughness. It just makes it so much easier, you know? You can just have two tutus on the board and not just automatically worry about it always dying every time. So cool, right? They, have, they go to two life. What can save you now, opponent? Elspeth Resplendent. I still don't think that saves them. Unless they get temporary lockdown. But if they get temporary lockdown, I still win. So we're just gonna let it go through. Because it's a lockdown, then I can Leyline Binding their lockdown, get my companion back, draw a card, and then went Wandering Emperor plus on companion. And then attack for two. Discard Vanquish the Horde. What a gamer. Goodbye, opponent. Kill the resplendent and kill them for max BM. Let's freaking go.
Amaranth. Am I going to stream the qualifier? What, tomorrow? Qualifier weekend? Yes. Thousand Face Shadow. I'm willing to bet that it's... Wait, what? Thran Portal? Moons? What? Am I still not drawing lands? All right. All right, Arena. All right, deck. It's this is funny. This is funny. I just added a land. All right, deal. What's up, Fabio? So opponents playing Kamigawa that deck. I'll make them use the treasure. Or let it get countered. Yo, what's up, Riley? Good fucking evening, cheesecake. May you fucking roll this opponent. <laughs> the fucking horse is with you. <laughs> Thanks for the 15 months in a row, Riley. I really appreciate you hanging around. Good hanging out with us. What does the Fur Master do? The problem with this is it's unblocked. So they just dodge removal. Well, I needed that land. One more untapped land, please. Dang it. Uh, if they have another network disruptor, I lose. Or like any removal spell. I'm just doing that now. The problem is I can't counterspell any of these ninjutsu abilities. Was containment priest legal? I don't think so.
I don't have red mana. But at least I have this to kick once. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Containment Priest is only Priest is only it's in Historic and, and Explorer. All right, played around Infernal Grasp the turn before, which was pretty good. Hopefully, they have no more creatures. And hopefully I find like a Xur at some point. They have another... Okay, the cut down is good, which means it lets us cast this. It's right at the top, not good. Network's gonna tap something down. What if they fading hope that back to their hand? Okay, I should stop saying things. All right, we get two things. Well, so what I really need to do is I need to go one wandering emperor before blocks, right? And that and that helps because it can't be unblocked if I haven't gone to blockers yet. That has menace. I could have a counter spell. Yes, yes, yes. Look at our mana being so perfect. Okay, be afraid of the Yavin Maya Coast. Um, can you guys still hear me? Hopefully you can. Why is it showing that I can play this land? Um, Arena, can you calm down? What is happening? Anybody see that? Ivy? Oh no. Oh crap. Trying to copy spells and stuff.
Bonnet? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go for it here. Emperor or binding? Oh, it didn't just copy the bypass? How's binding been? Absolutely amazing. Uh, hexproof and untap. Shore, set a shore, shore side. Something shore. Shore up. Slip on the back. Oh, sure. Actually, that's kind of annoying. Because now I can't deal with this. Do it now in their upkeep. Just so they have no information on the next card they're going to draw before they cast a spell on it. Samuel safekeeping. No. Doesn't Ivy say if it targets something other than Ivy? Oh, I get it. They get to copy combat research on this. What's so a copy of combat research? Oh, it's pretty freaking good. Alright, so now we can Xur plus attack with Leyline Binding. It's probably not what we want to be doing, though. Let's go destroy evil. On this. has ward one right oh oh it's any player oh god so they could destroy evil our like wedding announcement or leyline binding oh wow i didn't know that until right now Wait, they didn't cast the copy? What? Oh, the new copy targets Ivy. Oh. Okay, that that's that makes it a lot better for me. That is a card I don't like to see. So I get to connive twice? Ow. Did it just draw discard, but it drew twice and they have to discard twice? Or did it just discard twice? I am not even aware of what it just did. Twinblade Geist.
double strike? Sure. Do I want them to have double strike? No, I think I'd rather have bait disappear. Crap, I wanted an untap land. Or honestly, any tap land. I mean, what could they have here? It has double strike. Is there not lethal? Why? They have double strike. It has first strike. I wanted an untap land. Crap! That's why I wanted an untap land. Because I would be able to make disappear that. But now I can't. But now I think Zer's lethal if they don't cast Denic, right? Impaler, thanks for the follow. Wow, finally get the untap land that now that it doesn't matter. Sick. Uh I am am I dead to homestead courage? I am dead to homestead courage. Except for this except for Zerg gives me lifelink. Good game. Hopefully that means that I win and not that they win. Homestead. I take 14. Ow. Draw a card and connive. I don't know how they're saying good game already. They can definitely stop me, I think. Uh, take eight. Valorous Dance Zer. Okay. Ow. Draw a card, connive again. This is actually just really close. Discard Homestead Courage. Oh, they can't actually tap these three cards for mana because they'll lose. Oh, wow. Alright, I guess I I guess I am ahead then. If they can't use their mana. Yes! Zer wins the game. It was Zer's fault this whole time. All right, Jamers, thanks for hanging out, playing some Esper Zer. We got some cool Zer wins. If anything, I might even take Zer up to three because every time we drew it, it seemed to be pretty good. We did make a change. We added a make disappear and put a negate in because I don't, I didn't feel like losing to um, farewell and stuff like that. So uh, I think having a couple more counter spells will do the deed. This deck list here at the end of the video here will be in the description down below. <laughs> Copy that if you want to play the deck for yourself. Anyways, give this video a like if you want to see this video reach more people and subscribe if you're new here or if you want to see more standard best of one content or explore best of three content just like this one. Anyways, I'll see you right over here in the next video and as always, peace.